And today we are going to be taking a look at two new figures that I got. Well, I got them like two weeks ago, but I, I was saving the review for uh, the Christmas countdown. So today, as you can probably tell by the uh, title and thumbnail, we are going to be looking at the Godzilla 2019 Atomic Blast version by NECA and the Rodan 2019 by NECA. So without further ado, I say we should move on and take a look at their detail first. Okay, for starters, Godzilla has this nice cyanish blue color throughout the dorsal fins with some, I, I have to say it's sky blue, dry brushing over it. In between the scales of his body, he has this green color. The blue veins that go down the side of his body, I really kind of like. Almost looks like the energy's like going through him. The blue mouth, I'm also a... Uh, pretty big fan of. At the top of the mouth we can see the cyanish green again and the teeth are also the same color as the tongue. Moving to the chest area we can see that it also has some slight sky bluish dry brushing. The toes are a nice shiny black. Same thing with the nails and also be careful with this thing around kids because these nails they're no joke they are sharp. You have a nice articulated tail here with the same color as the dorsal fins coming down to the end with some more sky bluish dry brushing. Now for articulation, we can move the head up, down, left, right, and we can open and close the mouth. However, the tongue, unlike an SH Monster Arts figure is, it's not articulated. Even on the 2014 figure, it was made out of a softer plastic and you can wiggle it a little bit, but not on this guy. The arms are basically pretty much the same as the 2014s. Elbow articulation and hand. Literally almost exactly the same. Waist can swivel a little bit, but not by much. Legs can kick forward and backwards. Also have jointed knees. They can be a little troublesome at times though. The feet are also articulated. They kind of snap into place once you uh, have them fully set up like this. And as I said before, the tail is articulated. Now on to Rodan. We can see he has a nice shiny black mouth. It almost kind of looks like the same color as Godzilla's toes, but might be a little different. I can't really 100% tell. He has incredibly tiny eyes. I don't even know how NECA did that. That is just incredible. Seriously, even I can't do things that small. Wings have a nice orangey red on the edges of them with some random yellow spots for some reason. The wings along with the rest of the body is a nice charcoalish color. And the nails don't have any unique paint. It's the same as the rest of the body. Now for articulation. The ends of the wings can move up and down. The wings themselves can move up and down. Legs are on ball joints. At least I think they're ball joints anyways. They're almost like hinges. Neck moves up and down. But, however, for some reason, the head does not have an articulated jaw. That's right. It actually has a separate head, if you, uh, give me, like, two seconds. Yeah, it has a separate head with a closed mouth. However, the weird thing is the SH Monster Arts has one, and these guys are practically the same size. So I wonder, uh, why SH Monster Arts was able to do it, and, uh, not NECA. Now, just a couple of warnings about this Rodan. He is fragile, and I do not recommend that you play around with him. He's made of a very thin plastic. I actually lost the fingers actually once, these ones, but I managed to find them and glue them back on again. I was lucky I even found them at all. As you can see, the camera will focus, you can almost see the glue. Now for both of the figures accessories. Let's start with Rodan's. We have this nice fiery effect. We have this amazing looking containment site for Rodan. This is the, this is from the scene, if you don't recall, where he bursts out of the volcano. 
And you can even put in this explosion effect to make it look like that scene from the trailer is when he uh, first comes out in the movie. There we go. We also have Rodan's flight stand. You just easily peg it into the hole. However, it does seem to be on an angle for some reason. I'm hoping NECA fixes that. The flight stand also supports Rodan very nicely. You just plug him in. Hang on. And that's pretty much it. You need to find the right spot though. There actually is a certain spot where you need to plug them in. And here's the extra head, which I already showed you guys. To attach this head, all you need to do is hold the neck and pull on the Rodan head, and this should cause it to pop right off like this. Now, I would not recommend doing this on the stand because as you can see, he starts to wobble over. So let's just take him off. All you need to do is just pop in the head with the closed mouth. And that's it. Now that is just the look from the movie right there. And finally, let's take a look at Godzilla's accessories. We have his atomic breath and this explosion effect piece. All you need to do is slide the tongue into a hole in the beam effect piece and that is pretty much all you need to do. There you go. The explosion effect, however, does not attach to anything. All you need to do is pretty much aim down with the atomic breath, slot it in the hole, There we go. And that's it. So what are my final thoughts on these guys? Well, I think they are both really great figures. If you just want to have a, two Godzilla figures that are articulated to put on your shelves and display them with some other monsters, these are definitely two good figures for a really good price. I literally got both of these guys for the same price of $30. I think that's all I need to say, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!